fired up and ready to go. We'll be back in just a moment. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. You'll watch the Miami Heat in this one as they go up against the Toronto Raptors at Scotiabank Arena. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Gordon Hayward is a versatile offensive player, but he said, for me, being aggressive is playing downhill. Usually, if I can get things going to the rim first, it opens up every other part of my game. And he's still able to collapse defenses, finish, and create for teammates. Guys? David, he is the total package. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat on Tuesday. They'll go up against Kristaps Porzingis and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Thursday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan. And guys, one thing about road trips like this one, they'll be seeing this as a chance for the team to come together. It might be a bit of a silver lining for a trip that doesn't always provide a lot of success. So the opening lineup for the Heat, out in the wings for them, Hero and Butler. Adebayo is out there with Precious Achua. And it's Simons in at the one. And for Toronto, OG Ananobi is out there with Hayward. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Reynolds in at the point guard. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Passes to Sampson. Here he goes. Reynolds can't hit. Now, Hero. He's guarded closely. Here's Simon. The 15-footer. Good. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. And there's the pass to Hero. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And the former Kentucky Wildcat, Tom Hero, he was picked 13th break in the 2019 draft, and he had an immediate impact. And you feel a lot of teams didn't see how NBA-ready Hero was. Underrated as a playmaker coming into the league, he's been a huge part of this team since his arrival. The first one at the line is good. And going back to the 2020 bubble, Tyler Hero was incredible as a rookie, scoring 16 points per game in the playoffs. A huge reason Miami reached the finals. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It's the Raptors ball. Four point game. They went to Miami for their last meeting with the Heat and came out with a win. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. They need a bucket in a big way here to engage the crowd. The way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. Oh. 
to the inside. First quarter to play with about a minute and a half gone. Yes, that goes in. Well, this is where Gordon Hayward continues to add to his game. He is super confident with the floater right now. Hero passes to Butler. Back to Hero. Driving in, and that one drops for him. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And out of bounds, sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bounds. Heat on D. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. And how about the interior defense here early on? They have really shut down the middle. Hero, no good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. The Heat have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Puts it up for Adebayo, and out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Van Vliet outside. Here's Hananobi. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. You know this about OG Ananobi. This guy's going to give you tremendous effort nightly. Really good job on the glass. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. This will blow. The basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's his first You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Trail by seven. Van Vliet outside. Here's Reynolds. It's hauled in by Achua. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. And Butler, here we go. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his friend, really. First Intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100 focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. That free throw good from Butler. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way, but it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. And Adebayo sends it back. You got to be careful shooting around Adebayo. An athletic big man who gets up as fast as anybody to block shots. Here's Simons. Last time, 14 points for him. Shots good by Butler. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. They trail by 11. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And Bam Adebayo, picked 14th in the 2017 draft, has made huge improvements throughout his career. Guy is a hard worker. Looking to end the run. There's the drive. 
And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Here's on an open. 17 points for him last game against Brooklyn. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Yeah, really like the defensive focus and intensity at the start. Now here's Butler. There's Hero with a three. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. Here's Reynolds. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against Brooklyn. And don't forget about the two blocks. He really changed the game for his team on the defensive side. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. That one goes. Count it. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Pass to Ananobi. Now he. Six on the shot clock. Here's Reynolds. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Miami. The Raptors shooting their first free throws here for the night. Really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Greg, playing most of your career in the 90s, the game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow. Now, here's Adebayo. He picked up 18 points in the last one against Orlando. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. The Raptors making a switch here. Flynn's checked in. Now, here's Adebayo. He's covered closely. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Flynn, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And what you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Here's Simons. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Flynn the pass to Sampson. Back to Flynn. Hayward up top. Here's Sampson. 20 points for him last game against Brooklyn. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the race. Now Hero, defended by Hayward. Shots good by Hero. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside Flynn. Pass to Van Vliet. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Sampson. He's guarded by Adebayo. Just five to shoot. Sampson's shot is off. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Here's Hero. And they pick up two. Hero's got 11 points.
It, it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Van Vliet kicks to Sampson. Now here's Van Vliet. Guarded close. Count the basket. Oh, tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage. Slipping pass there for the fans. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. Here's Young taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Outside Flynn. He takes it in. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now, Hero, a 29-point game for him in the win against Orlando. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Yeah, and they've done the job on the offensive glass. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stars for Miami? Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots a key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. They've shown some real tenacity on the boards, and it's turned into a lot of second-chance points. That free throw good from Thaddeus Young. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. And here is Flynn. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Here's Nader. It's an 18-point game. Passes it to Brown. And the pass to Young. Shot clock at six. Rebound by the Raptors. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers in that one. If you can't protect the ball, you, you can't expect to win. That's exactly right. Miss cues drive a coach crazy. You're giving them more opportunities than you're giving yourself, and that's always problematic. Now here's Flynn. He's covered by Hero. That's the Diallo. Back to Flynn. Pass to Glover. He dishes it to Sampson. Into the lane. Good defensive work there by Young. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Brown, good. Bruce Brown. Already they've piled up eight second chance points. Set it up. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Now Diallo. Last time out, he had 13 points. Passes it to Sampson. And the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Two minutes left. Here's the pass to Sampson. Five on the clock. Here's Glover, a tad short, but it's good off the front iron. 143 left to play in the first. Now, Hero, he's got 11. Round the pass to Nader. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Outside Flynn, he kicks to Toppin. Here's Sampson. He's covered by Hero. Sampson's shot, good. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Pass to Young. Heat moving the ball around. 
Brown outside. Off target from three-point range. Raptors trail by 20. Outside Flynn. If the drive, the putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Miami's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. 32 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And tenacious play there from Hero in the paint, refusing to let the foul hold back his shot. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. First one falls for him. And Hero drops them both. Man, they are just living at the line. Raptors trail by 20. Flynn with it. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. He's had four at chances at the line, eight. made them all. Tyler Hero, two shots. good from Hero. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. And Hero drops them both. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside Flynn. With one on the clock. Yeah, remarkable positioning from Thaddeus Young. He played perfect defense, really alters the shot. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. Heat lead by 20. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And the step back is shot that's become a staple for the league's top scorers. Case in point, Gordon Hayward among that group, and he does it so well. Uh, I really like the step back move. Being at 6'8, uh, I feel like I can use a little bit of my quickness to get an advantage and then step back and tall enough to shoot over some guys. Um, so that's one of my moves. One of many moves, Greg, but that probably is his signature move now. Moves and counter moves. Hayward has a lot in his bag to keep defenders off balance. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen a confident looking Heat team out there. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups <laughs> defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. You've got Diallo. Also, Toppin's out there. And it's Sampson in at the five, down low. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now, here's Flynn. Kicks to Toppin. Pass to Glover. Lock at six. He feeds it to Sampson. And we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. What do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I played in Seattle for a season. I know that I would love to have a team back in the great Northwest. Toronto shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night.
Shoot two. That one is off. And Toronto making a change here. Reynolds has checked in. And he's good on the second. Well, Heat leading by 21. Brown feeling out a bit. Out to the right wing. Here's Nader. That one's off. He's now one for two. Rano shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Here's Glover. He's covered by Brown. Pass to Diallo. Driving to the basket. Well, terrific reach on the block. Thaddeus Young stretches out well for a big-time rejection. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Round kicks to Murphy. Here's Nader. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Hero, no good. And here's Dion. To the middle. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. They get the rebound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Toronto, they have made two and missed two at the line tonight. For your Raptors, taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Toronto. Then for the Heat, Adebayo is checked in for Young. Achua comes in for Nader. And it's Simons in for Hero. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Simons. The pass to Murphy. Now here's Adebayo. Bucket is good. Adebayo's got his first points in this one. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. Here's Van Vliet. Lays it up off the glass. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the finals. We can get back there. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? What a great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Miami with the ball. After the Raptors pick up two. 13 feet away. The shot by Autobio, no good. Pass to Diallo. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. From 11 feet away, second chance shot. The shot's good from Achua. Achua. Achua's got nine. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And they'll keep possession. Sampson, and he dunks it down. 
That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Snatched up. Achua. And there's two points. Achua. Working on the glass, paying off that time. It's starting to look like a repeat of last night, guys. He's battling really hard out there. Oh, he sure is. I mean, these past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or other hustle plays, he's been everywhere. And there's the strength and determination that Van Vliet's known for. He battles nonstop. And Doris, though he's getting the press for his scoring, and he's been prolific. Van Vliet's defense Van is equally as impressive. Shooting. My goodness, great instincts. Rarely fooled. You can't trick him. Quick feet, strength in the post. The you see guys try Find to take lane. advantage of his lack of One size. Shot. He won't have it. He throw good, Van Vliet. And along with production. This team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. Now, here's Adebayo. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. So it's Toronto now, following the three by Miami that went in. Here's Sampson, over Adebayo. Sampson's shot, good. Sampson's got 13. Well, I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient, he's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Achua, the pass to Brown. Butler goes in over Hayward. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Ten points for him. Wow, very close to a potential and one. Butler converting through contact. Here's Reynolds. He's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. This one for three. Rebound by Butler. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Oh, perfect timing on that out of the has a real connection with his teammates. Here's Reynolds. Pass to Hayward. Here's Reynolds. Now Hayward. Now, here's Ananobi. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. Attacking right there. Hayward using the strength that he has built up over the years to finish through contact. Here's Simon. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul. First team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. for Miami. Anthony Simons. At the line for two. First free throw is good. The Raptors making a switch here. Toppins checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Knocks it loose. Hayward kicks to Van Vliet. Passes it to Reynolds. Just five on the clock. Toppin can't get it to go. Well, he leading by 21. Round the pass to Butler. The shot that time, not on target. Hayward with some nice D. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Flynn's checked in for the Raptors. Malachi Flynn. Here's Simons. He's got seven. 
Brown outside. The pass to Butler from beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. Flynn with it. Six points for him. Hayward goes in. Doesn't go for him. And the Heat going the other way now. And here is Butler. He had 22 points in the win against Orlando. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. Van Vliet can't get it to go. The Heat leading by 23. Here's Achua. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Orlando. Down low, here's Brown. Well-timed pass, and it goes straight to the this bucket for the layup. Precious. Brown's got his second basket of the game. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Now here's Butler. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. Trying to end the drought. And Adebayo sends it back. Simons, the pass to Butler. He kicks it to Brown. Here's Adebayo. Toronto grabs the miss. Hayward's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Van Vliet. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Van Vliet's got nine points. Well, you can see how dialed in Gordon Hayward can be. When he's on his game, the vision is exceptional. Brown outside. Good ball movement here by Miami. Hayward against Butler. And there's the drive. Here's Autobio. And he converts the layup. Autobio's got six points in the quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. And the Raptors call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Look for Miami. Young's checked in for Achua. Nader comes in for Bruce Brown. And it's Tyler Hero in for Anferni Simons. Now, here's Topic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Van Vliet looking around. Driving the lane. And that one drops. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? Here's Hero. He's got 15. And there's the feed to Butler. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Well, this guy is so good at exploiting the holes in the defense and getting inside. Jimmy Butler, high percentage finish. Outside Flynn. Van Vliet against Adebayo. Butler on the way. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. A minute 20 left in the first half. Now Hero, looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Six to shoot. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Well, how about that? Just glide toward the rim, but finish with power. What a combination by Jimmy. Now here's Flynn. Eight points for him. And there it is for him. Flynn's got 10 points in the game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. 
Here's Nader. 36 seconds left in the first half of the game. Left side, Butler. Over Glover. And it's Miami with another. The development of the elite offensive skill set by Jimmy Butler is a thing of beauty. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the half. Van Vliet with it. He's got nine. There's the three. No good that time. Jimmy Butler has been on display for the Miami Heat. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, start making some of them. Well, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He had 16 points and three rebounds. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Their control of the boards is a big reason for this lead. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? I like their physical approach. They're being reckless out there. Silly fouls, silly guys to the line, way too much. I don't see how they can get back into this if they keep giving up free points. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Out in the wings for them, Hero and Butler. Achua is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Simons in at the guard position. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Reynolds. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. And Hayward with the steal. Well, just great recognition from Hayward. Shows his vertical to finish that pass. Hero finds Butler. Back to Hero. Inside. Here's Achua. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And here is Van Vliet. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Sampson. Butler with the steal. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Passes it to Autobio. And that one is good. autobio has got four this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now 
the pass to Reynolds. Floats one, and he lays it up and in. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Outside Butler. And he uses the glass on the way. Butler's got 18 points. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Pass to Reynolds. Takes it inside. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Butler finds Hero. Let's it go. And it's Miami with another. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The 11-footer. Got a hand on it. They get it back. Here's Sampson. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Oldham. Oh, oh, oh. Well, a little show and tell from the butler, Jimmy, giving the fans their money's worth. Take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the foot. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Pass to Hero. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Pass to Reynolds. Kicks it to Hayward. Rebound by the Heat. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bounds. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing for him to rise up and swat that one away. Diallo's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Miami with a change here, too. Murphy's checked in. The Raptors have gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. Here's Reynolds. The pass to Diallo. To the paint. And stolen by Achua. Here's Simons. Samson pulls it in. Samson's got eight rebounds in this game. Unloads from 13. That one doesn't go. The Heat go the other way with it. Down low. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. It gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part. Being disruptive at the defensive end right now. The Raptors making a switch here. Toppins checked in, and then for Miami, Young comes in for Butler. And it's Bruce Brown in for Anferni Simons. Hero kicks to Young. Now here's Brown, T right on him. It's deflected. Now Diallo, looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Young against Van Vliet. 
Good defensive work there by Young. And uh, Miami shooting impressively throughout at 62%. Wasted no time on that one. Heroes got 23 points. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Van Vliet against Brown. Van Vliet passes to Toppin. Here's Reynolds to stop the drought, and it's good on the way. Reynolds has got four points in the quarter. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Now, Hero, 23 points in the game, and that one, good. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Here's Reynolds, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Miami. Guys, how about all the second chance points they've been able to convert throughout the game? They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. And he makes the first. And Toronto making a change here. Flynn's checked in. Abdul Nader, he's checked in for Miami. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Brown with it. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. And it's good for two. Brown's got his third basket of the night. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Here's Reynolds, rejected by Young. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Hero passes to Brown. Now, Hero, he's guarded by Ananobi. And this is why many are high on Hero. Possesses ability to kick it up a notch and just take over. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively to the inside, Murphy, and then Murphy with the dunk. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stump. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Miami and Toronto Ball. turns it over again. Now it's the lineup for And here are the Heat. And here is Hero. He's got 27. Pass to Nader. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Young. Fouled on the shot. Picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That's you know, first. that's big-time concentration on that attempt. Young is not letting the defense alter his shot. Shooting this trip is his second to the free-throw line in this one. Numbers one are this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. One shot. Thaddeus Young, no good on the free throw. You hear this consistently about Thaddeus Young. He's going to do whatever you ask of him. He'll start, he'll come off the bench, but he is going to impact the game. Now, here's Brown. He has six. Teardrop shot. Rebound by the Raptors. Pass to on and open. Great pass to set up the way in. Ananobi's got his second basket. OG Ananobi, because of his athletic ability, can be special in the open floor. Nice finish there. 
Passes to Murphy. To the middle. Here's Young. Lays it up and makes it in. Young's got four points this quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. And there's the pass to on and open. Now here's Diallo. That one misses. Good defensive work there by Young. Brown outside. It's hauled in by Glover. Raptors shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Now here's Flynn. He's covered by Hero. Now Diallo. Five to shoot. The Raptors need to get a shot off. Here's Glover. Off target with his three. And uh, the Heat shooting an incredible 64% for the field in this game. Brown finds Hero. Here's Nader. Brown outside. Over Glover. Got a piece of it. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Now, here's Brown. He has six. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. It's really a tough call. Sam Birch has checked in for Toronto. Coming on to the floor for your Raptors, Cam Birch. Now, Hero, defense is right there. Shot clock at six. Inside, down trying to break free, and the basket by Murphy. Murphy's got six. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Now, here's Flynn. He's got 10. <laughs> Trying to get something going. It's hauled in by Hero. So here is Miami. Pass to Brown. Here's Young. He's guarded by Diallo. A nice Thaddeus shot by Young. Young. And 11 points for Thaddeus Young. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Now here's Flynn. He's covered by Hero. the three. Oh, my, yeah, he'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. That's good. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. Hero, shooting one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from Hero. And so it's the Miami Heat able to put on a show for the ages. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Back to the action after this word. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm Assist of the Game. 
Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Prokic. He's out there with Ben McLemore, and it's Glover in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. No good from Prokic. Here's Nader. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter, and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Here's Valentine. The Raptors getting the bucket. Hood trying to break free. Valentine shot good. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. And here's Frankich. He'll bring it up for Toronto. Here's Meyer. It's hauled in by the Heat. Here's Nader, drives to the hoop, uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup, nicely done. Outside Dragic. And it's Dragic with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heat shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. Here's Valentine. Can't connect from short range. In Toronto, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Outside Dragic. And McLemore kicks to Birch. Pass to Dragic. Down to five on the shot clock. Out to the right wing. And again, Toronto no up. The Heat have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And the foul on Kim Birch. That's his first foul. Achua, he's checked in for the Heat. Second team foul. Heat substitution. Precious Achua. Outside hood. This is to Valentine. You know what? Toronto You've got to always be in control of That's your emotions. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Passes it to Rivers. Back to Valentine. Lock at six. Shoots over Trogic. Again, the miss by the Heat. The shot's good from Achua. Achua. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Birch. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. The pass to Nader. And here is Achua. Good ball movement here by the Heat. It's deflected. The three from Valentine. Here's Nader. And they convert at last on attempt number three. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Pass to Birch. Here's Glover. Pass to Birch. To the middle. Time to find Achua and gets it to him. In transition, here comes Miami. The three. Goran Dragic grabs the board. Raptors shooting about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. Now here's McLemore. Not a lot of room. Got that bucket. 
The Heat have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Now, here's Valentine. Count it. Valentine's got four this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you could that's find if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. The Raptors making a switch here. Reynolds has checked in. That one is no good. The Raptors have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Birch. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second. Wow, wow, foul. he got whacked on foul. that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. At the line for your Raptors. Kim Birch. Two shots. No good on that one. And the Heat making a change here. Jones has checked in. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Nine and he hits it and gets hacked down the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Letting a guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw. That, that is inexcusable. At the line for one. And that one misses. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jones, and it's blocked. Here's Reynolds. He's guarded by Rivers. Fires from deep. Reynolds can't hit. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Miami. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Austin Buries Rivers. it from three-point range. Three. Well, if you are a modern NBA shooting guard, you have got to be able to shoot with range, and Austin Rivers knocks it down. Now, here's Birch. Rockets the pass to McLemore. Here's Reynolds. Shot clock at five. Looking to get it going. And the layup's good off the glass. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Valentine passes to Rivers. Jones with it. Rivers surveying the D. There's the pass to Jones. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's, That's on Gordon Drogic. Yeah, easy call. 15 foul. At the line for the Heat, Mason Jones taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. Toronto with the ball. Here's Reynolds. And it's Rivers with the rebound. It's just been a frustrating day for him all the way around, and it's rubbed off now, I think, on the rest of the team. Jones dishes to Hood. Baggage against Rivers. Shoots over Dragic, and the shot is long. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Reynolds. Nader grabs the board. Nader's got five rebounds tonight. And here is Valentine. Makes it off the glass. Valentine's got six in the quarter. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. Here's Reynolds, defended by Jones. Reynolds can't hit. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him, there's no doubt. Now Rivers. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some Austin players Rivers. saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor. And maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. And so here is Miami after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now here's Dragic. Over Valentine. No good from Dragic. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to Austin give up that Rivers. shot. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. It's stolen by Jones. In the corner, Valentine with it. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Oh, wow, guys, doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Toronto. Raptors! Gordon Hayward. Now here's Dragic. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've gone back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Dragic with it. It's good. As a screener in the pick and roll, your job's easy. When Dragic is running it, just set a solid screen and let him do the rest. Now, here's Valentine. He kicks it to Jones. And foul that on the shot, foul. so he'll get a chance at the That's line. His third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Heat, 
Mason Jones. Two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Jones. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. And don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6 8, that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position. No good from Trotters. Miami's gotten off four three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Driving inside, and the whistle blows. Ben it's going to be on Ben McLemore. That's his, That's his first, first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Shooting for Miami. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. He hits both from the stripe. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Here's Meyer. This will blow. His bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's his third personal foul. Well, that's the vision you get with Dragic. His teammates have to love playing with him. We've heard the calls for more diversity among head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. Now here's Jones. Pass to Rivers. Now here's Hood, covered by Birch. Shooting foul, foul as the whistle blows. Andrew. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Miami. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Heat. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. Well, at least they're going to salvage a game from the season series after losing the first two. Now, here's Valentine. Off on the layup. That is the perfect technique to rebound. I mean, he shields his man, kept him behind, and then he's off to the race. Hayward with the ball. Picked up by Rivers. And Hayward gets it to go. We know this about Gordon Hayward. He can score from three, he can get to the mid-range, and he can score if you allow him that kind of interior position. Outside, Jones. Back to Rivers. Six on the shot clock. 
The three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Outside Dragic. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jimmy, you have been outspoken about the need for maximum effort. Was it part of your plan to grab wins like the one we saw tonight? It wasn't a part of my plan, but whatever works, works. I think we got a, a bunch of talented guys, and at times we forget how hard we got to play. On the road at home, this is how we got to play basketball. Jimmy, thanks for the time, man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.